All right, everybody, welcome back to the fourth and final episode of Are You Smarter Than Lord Never Ember? Because I shouldn't have to say this at this point, but in case you forgot, Lord Never Ember has the lowest IQ of everyone ever, and so he is honored to be represented by having his name in this show. Now, that being said, in case you missed the first three episodes or just don't know how it works, this game is sort of similar to Jeopardy. There are 20 different questions in five different categories, and they're worth different numbers of points up to 400, the lowest being 100. And if you get a question correct, you get the full number of points, but if you get it wrong, you lose the full number of points. Now, the only thing different this week compared to previous weeks is that there are no more steals. That was just really hard for me to keep track of with the half number of points and trying to decide who stole from who and who should lose points and gain points, and it was a mess. And it messed up a lot of my calculations and pretty much all of them in the last three episodes. But in place of that, everyone has two nopes this week, which you might remember from last week. That means that if you pick a question and you have no idea what it is, you can decide to just say, you know what, nope and just throw the question at somebody else and you can choose who you throw it at and then the person who receives the question has to is forced to answer it as if it were their own question and they lose full points if they get it wrong gain full points if they get it right and you lose nothing so each person has two of those and there's only one new category this week as well i think that pretty much covers everything so without further ado let's introduce our contestants we are here in helm's hold today it is actually not a library imagine that and I have this wonderful statue behind me that looks a little bit like me if I were to put on armor. Our three contestants this week are Driz, Galiwen, and Rob. And we're going to go in order from oldest to youngest, of course, and then introduce them, you know, okay. So first up, we have Driz. Please tell us a little bit about yourself. Hi, I'm Driz. I'm co-founder of Black Vanguard and one of the leaders in Red Vanguard. And I'm, well, uh, TR by nature, but uh, I mean... I just play, I administrate, I type things, I mail things. Sounds like you have the office job, but in Neverwinter. Pretty much. <laughs> All right, so Gal, I'm just going to call you Gal for the rest of the video because I'm not going to be able to remember how to pronounce your name properly every time. So Gal, please tell us a little bit about yourself. I am Galvin. I'm a paladin tank, and I like to wear a bird suit sometimes. That is an interesting hobby you have there. I approve. <laughs> Is, is the bird named Silver? Your guild is Banner of the Silver Wolves. I approve of that, too. I don't have a name for my bird suit. Well, that's unacceptable. You're disqualified. I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, so Rob. What's up, Rob? I'm Rob. I've been playing this game since Mod 11B, I think. The Shroud of Souls one in River District. Uh, I'm main wizard, and I'm kind of okay at being a dps i'm also kind, kind of, of okay but not at dps we have something in common sort of okay so that was our contestants now you all know who they are and all that boring stuff so now it's time to talk about the prizes and i actually didn't forget this is the first time in all four episodes i did not forget to explain what the prizes were at the beginning so this week these three contestants will be fighting over a prize pack of three things the first one being the Starfade Stag mount, epic mount, the one, the signature one that my cleric rides around all the time, and people have been asking me how I got it recently, so um, I'm giving one away, yay! The second thing is an Icewind Dale campaign completion token, and then thirdly is 120 companion upgrade tokens. So that's yes. enough to get you from purple to orange companion if you want to, or upgrade a couple of lesser ranked ones. So good luck, everyone. I hope there's not any awkward silence in this show, although I'm getting the impression that there's going to be, unfortunately. So first things first. Driz, you're in the position, the best position, which is to pick the first question. So which question would you like? I think I'll go for events for 400. Events for 400. That is a very spicy first pick. I approve. So, which Call to Arms event gives a volcanic weapon transmutes? Battle for the Bridge. Well, that is correct. I'm actually pretty impressed. Although, knowing you, I shouldn't be impressed because you know everything. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> but you yay for me! Yeah, you're starting off very strong with the solid 400 points. So, Gal, what are you going to do about that? Let's do Artifacts for 400. Oh, this is a spicy episode. I 
I love it. So, name any two artifacts that have 999 power on them. Uh, Sigil of the Paladin. Okay. And Sigil of the Barbarian. I get the feeling you might have just opened your character sheet for that, <laughs> but that is correct. And you're also starting out with 400 points. So, Rob, are you going to also join this 400 train of points? May as well. Companions for four. Oh, boy. Good luck with this one, Rob. <laughs> So Yay. how many different companions are in the fighters category? Oh, hell. <laughs> <laughs> 20. Is that your final answer? I got nothing better. All right. Well, that is incorrect. Mm, I figured. <laughs> so unfortunately, you're down there at the negative 400. So I hope you get all the questions right at this point, since you're already 800 points away from everybody else. But the correct answer was 41. There's a lot. Wow. So, back to the beginning. Driz, what are you going to do? There's yes. only two 400-point questions left. I think I'm going to go for random for 400. All right. This is the first episode where people have actually picked the 400-point questions, and they're picking all of them in the beginning. So, I like where this is going. So, how many different horse mounts are in the game, not including unicorns? Can I have a timer song, please? Um... Do, 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 do. That was really off key. 17. 17? Is that your final answer? Yes. <laughs> well, that is incorrect. <laughs> incorrect. At least you're not at negative 400, though. You're only at zero. No. Zero Excellent. is good. If you've seen any of the previous episodes, having zero points would put you in a really good spot. The correct answer was 41. Wait, that was the answer to the last question. 43. 43? So there are a lot of horses. Wow. A lot of horses. A lot more than I even expected when I was counting them, and I was like, oh, I thought there was only like 20. <laughs> That's what we learned today, guys. There's a lot of horses in this game. Gal, you're up. Oh, let's try classes for 400. Classes for 400, that is all of the 400 point questions. <coughs> Which class was the first class released after the main release of the game? Oathbound Paladin. Is that your final answer? I think so. Alright, that is incorrect. <coughs> the correct answer was Ranger or Hunter Ranger was released in Mod 2. A long time ago. In a galaxy far, far away. Long before my time. Long before mine as well. Okay, Rob. Just shortly before my time. <laughs> Rob, they're closer to you now, but there's no 400 point questions left. What are you going to do? First, I'm going to regret you not using my nope on that last one. Then I'm going to go for events at three. Yeah, I, I would regret that also if I was you. Events for 300. From which event can you obtain the fire breathing emote? You can do it. I think. That's Jubilee. Alright, that is correct. You're getting closer. You're only 100 points away now. Yay. I get the feeling this episode is going to be a close one. What what time did you guys all join the game? I joined June 14th, 2014. Alright, that was oddly specific. <laughs> what Sometime about the during two? the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> I joined 48 days, 21 hours, 4 seconds of playtime ago. Whenever that was. That was probably Damn. longer ago than that. Most likely. Yeah. Smarts. And like I said, sometime during 11B. <laughs> okay. So you've all been here roughly around the same time, I would think. This should make for an interesting episode. Okay. Driz, you are up once again. Oh... I really like one category, but I really like 300s also. So let's go. Uh -huh. I know. Ah. Let's go classes for 300. So how many classes have a meter of some kind that they have to manage during combat? Three. Three. All right. Is that your final answer? Paladin, cleric, and a barbarian. All right. Is that your final, uh -huh. final answer? Final final answer. Oh. <laughs> okay, as a, an extra meter on the screen, yes. yes. All right, so that is incorrect. Yeah. So mm. 
The correct answer is actually six. There's Cleric and Paladin, which have their Divinity. There's Warlock, which has their, uh, whatever, the, what are those called? Soul Sparks. And then there's Barbarian, which has Rage. Fighter has, uh, Vengeance. And Rogue has Stealth. I'm surprised you didn't get the Rogue one, because you are a Rogue. Yeah, but I don't pay attention to that. I just stab. <laughs> stab. Just stabby stab. Yes, that's all you do. You have an office job and you stabby stab the paperwork before you <laughs> yes, mail it. <laughs> that's how they know it's authentic <laughs> from you. <laughs> all right, gal. Oh, let's try companions for 300. All right, so how many companions are available for sale in the trade bar store? Uh, guessing I'm going to say 20. 20? Is that your final answer? 21. 21. Okay. So that is incorrect. You guys started off so strong with the hardest questions, and then you get to the the lower point ones, and it's just falling apart. I believe in you guys. I know you can do it. Hey, I started out bad. Yeah, so that means it should go the opposite for you, right? You should be getting better, I think. That's how logic Hopefully. works. All right, so the correct answer was 28. There are 28 companions. You were close. Sort of, <coughs> sort of close. All right, Rob. Are you going to win? I'll probably regret this, but random for 300. <laughs> so uh, do you remember how I said there was going to be one question that was not a real question? Oh, yay. So this question, this is a free 300 points if you can describe in detail your favorite food item in Neverwinter and what it tastes like. Literally just ground up watermelon <laughs> <laughs> that's not detailed enough how much more detailed than just watermelon goo can you get <laughs> is it warm is it cold I mean, what's the texture cold. like how is it served when was Does the last time you ate it the skin <laughs> is it great for I mean, food fights kind of like ice cream but more fruity no dairy <laughs> Okay. It's gluten free. <laughs> Not free. Also that. I'm enjoying this a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, at least someone is. <laughs> <laughs> I was really hoping to make someone feel really awkward answering this question, and I'm glad it was you. <laughs> Congratulations, you succeeded. <laughs> Alright, well I'll give you the three hundred points now. <laughs> Woohoo. So that puts you at positive two hundred. Driz. Yeah. Win now. I'd like events for 200. I, I write a lot of guild mails, so I, I normally know events. <laughs> I, I already know you're going to answer this one correctly, and if you don't, I will be disappointed. Pressure. Oh. <laughs> so, which event allows you to complete various timed challenges that can drop from killed enemies? Ooh, very tough one. Intense pondering. Yes, I know. Hmm. Well, you gotta go see the event master of Ow, the speaker of Ow in the events day. So I'm gonna say the challenge of the gods. All right, that is correct. I am not disappointed in you. Congratulations, nerd. <laughs> oh shush! Read my guild mail. <laughs> All right, Gal, read your guild mail, and then pick a question. Yeah, my guild doesn't send mail, so I can't do that. Um, um, let's, let's do artifacts for 300. Which artifact can drop from the dragon in Whispering Caverns and Rothay Valley? I'm going to say nope. And who are you going to nope? Let's go with Rob. Ah, Part of the Rob. blue dragon. That was a very quick answer. Are you sure? It It's... The best guess I got, because it's a blue dragon there, and a uh, blue dragon lich in the Whispering Caverns. Well, you know more about those dragons than I do, but that is incorrect. What? <laughs> I call shenanigans. Enjoy your minus 100 again. You just ret you're returning back to the land where you came from. So, the correct answer is actually the Rod of Imperial Restraint. You can <sighs> look it up in the Collections tab if you don't believe me. Yeah. <laughs> I would never have known that one, so I can't really fault you for that, but you're Rob, so I'm going to fault you for it anyway. <laughs> Yay. It's actually your turn again, Rob, to pick a question. Uh, let's go random for two again. Which campaign are gold crescents used in? Uh, Sharendar. Alright, that is correct. So, you're coming back, sort of. This episode is going a lot faster than previous ones, and I'm actually okay with that because it means less editing for me. 
So we'll the, score the last two were... Uh, yeah, what's the current score sitting at? Like an hour. Okay, so the score right now, we have Driz at negative 100 points. We have Boy. Gal at negative 300 points. And then we have Rob at positive 100 points. So right now, Rob is in the lead, but only just barely. Better than I expected. Yeah, you guys are doing pretty well, actually. And there's nobody at negative 1,000 points yet, so that's always a plus. <laughs> All right, Driz. I mean, at this point, I don't think it's possible for anyone to really get down that low. Hold my beer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, which question would you like? I'd like to have companions for 200. Companions for 200. Well, I guess I can allow you to have that question, since you asked nicely. Thank you. All right, so which companion has the bonus that has a chance to reduce the target's armor penetration whenever you use an encounter? Well, you know, the one that I'm not using. Uh, that is a pretty solid answer. I'm going to nope this, and I'm going to toss to Gal. Ah, oh, poor Gal. All right, Gal, what's the answer? No, can I nope it and toss it to Rob? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, no. This That was the one thing I forgot to say in the beginning, now that I'm remembering. You can't, a can't question cannot nope be noped more than once, and it also cannot be stolen, and you can't steal a question that's been noped. You cannot nope a question that has been, that you stole, you know... So, unfortunately, you are stuck with that. And what was the question again? Which It was, which things? companion has the bonus that has a chance to reduce the target's armor penetration when you use an encounter? Is that on a... I will say that from the previous episodes, the longer somebody takes to answer a question, the more suspicious I get of them. Oh, I, I answered. <laughs> you didn't hear me? No. I had said Rust Monster. Ah, Rust Monster. That would be correct. Although that my statement still does stand, though. <laughs> so you're up to negative 100, and now it is your turn again to choose another question. Let's go artifacts for 200. Which two artifacts come from the Ravenloft campaign? Oh, uh, thirst. Are you talking actually drop from the, come from the campaign store or drop during it? Both. Okay, thirst is one, and then um. I can't recall the second one. Unfortunately, I don't do half points for half correct answers. <laughs> do you want to take a guess at the second one? Uh, nothing comes to mind, so no. All right. The correct answer was Thirst, which you got correct, and then the Taroka deck artifact. Uh, so yeah. that puts you at negative 300. Yeah. yeah, it's your turn on the laptop. Go, go, go. No, it's my turn on the laptop. <laughs> I got two boys sharing a laptop, so sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Hi, Rob. Hi, Rob. Hey, classes for 200. Classes for 200. Are you sure you want to pick that one? I mean, it's the last 200, <laughs> so sure, why not? <laughs> okay, so prior to mod 16, which class had intelligence as its primary attribute? Oh, I wonder. <laughs> Could it be wizard? Uh, it might be wizard, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of ironic that you are a wizard and you got that, that thing question. that I am? <laughs> yeah, that thing that you are, you know. So, it's actually relatively close for the most part right now. So, hopefully this next round and then the double or nothing at the end, which is not going to be very impressive because there's only 100 point questions left, I think. Literally all the 100 point questions are the only thing that's left. So this double or nothing may or may not actually make a difference, and it's not going to be very entertaining. That being said, Driz, this is the final round before double or nothing. Which question would you like? Events 100. Are you? Do you take all four events questions? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I stole one of them. No, 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 I didn't take the 300. Ah, uh, okay. From which event can you obtain the golden pants? I just got a ma mind block. And they're, they're golden pantaloons. I saw that, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> uh, crap. Um, sorry. Pardon me, swearing. <laughs> You're fine. I could, I could see it all. Uh, I should read my own guild mouse. <laughs> that might be advised, yes. Yeah, <sighs> uh, the, 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 the... <sighs> I can see all the pieces and the green and the pinks and the pallet and armor and stuff i hate that like you can think of, you can remember I know, everything I... about it but then not its name 
Yeah, and Rob is laughing at me right now. Jeez. You can take a guess. As I wear the entire event outfit. <laughs> yeah, shush, 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 shush. The wop. Talking. Wa- Joaquin! Coins of Joaquin! Alright. <laughs> that is correct. Finally got it. I'm proud. Yeah, I know. The suspense was killing me. I could see every <laughs> single I, every single piece flashing in front of my eyes. You saw your life flash before your eyes, but you couldn't remember mm. the name. Oh no. Yeah, well, you know, I am the oldest here, and I've got memory problems. I'll allow it. Yeah, thank you. I don't you. know if I would call you old, personally, though. Because you're not I that old. I got my old. 100 points, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got your 100 points. You're up to zero. <laughs> Woohoo! Big zero. All right, gal. You need to get this question right, I think. That would be advised. Uh, I'll do my best. Let's do uh, classes for 100. So how many healing and counter powers do clerics have? Uh, wish I played a cleric. Um, It always seems that the cleric questions always go to the people who don't play a cleric. But then all the other classes questions go to the people who have played those classes. You think I'd know that my husband's a cleric? I'd say there's four. Alrighty. That, unfortunately, is incorrect. <clears throat> Very close, though. The correct answer was five. I can see why you would guess four if you're thinking of them, but Astral Shield also has a heal over time. So that's what makes it five. I almost didn't catch that myself when I was counting them, because I was like, oh, Astral Shield doesn't heal. And then I actually looked at it and I was like, oh, I guess it does. All right, Rob, you have the last question before Double or Nothing. Rob, 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 Rob. Uh, let's go random again. Random again? You're so random. Dang, it's trading well so far. All right, so in the quest to get your first artifact, which three artifacts can you choose from? Uh, the Lantern of Revelation, the Waters of uh, whatever that word is. You know the one I'm talking about. Yeah, I do. Um, crap, what's the last one? The one that summons the merchant. Okay, I, I guess... I can't remember I its guess, name. <laughs> I guess I'll allow it, since you did describe what it does, but it's called the Aurora's Whole Realms Catalog. That's the one, yeah. Yeah, so... Uh, and the other ones. Waters of Elzad. Yeah, that. Elzad. Yeah, I knew it started, that, I knew it, <laughs> yeah. it started with an E, but I could, I'm not going to try right, to remember and so... pronounce that name. <laughs> The standings right now, we have Driz at zero points, a pretty solid place to be at, a very neutral ground. And then we have Gal at negative 400 points, and then Rob at positive 400 points. So nice number symmetry going on there. Negative, zero, positive. Okay, so... I feel so stuck in the middle of things. Well, if you get both questions right, you can tie Rob for first place. There is a person! Oh, he left. Okay. So the two questions that we have left are... Uh, artifacts for 100 and companions for 100. So not very entertaining. Uh, there's that person again. They're invading our personal space. That was unexpected. Okay, they're gone again. Um, Shoo! <laughs> just get some bug spray. Maybe they'll go away. <laughs> Shoo! All right, so the first question in our double or nothing is going to be the artifacts for 100. Where can you obtain the Skull Lord Staff artifact? Go ahead and type type your answers in there. Do not send it. Do not be like the guy last week who sent it b- before I said. That person is watching us. Watching. Always watching. He's probably wondering what we're doing. <laughs> yes, leave. Bye, person. And let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. Are you other two ready? Oh, yes. Ready. Yep, ready. Okay, all right. Send your answers in three, two, one, and now. Answers we got here, Merchant Prince's Folly, Skirmish, Merchant Prince's Folly, and Tong. So the correct answer was Merchant Prince's Folly. Dope. <laughs> so that means everyone except Driz gets 200 points. That's okay. You'll just cry in your corner. Uh, I'm just gonna go cry now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. It's yeah, okay. It's okay. It's okay. We love you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and the last question in our Double or Nothing is companions for 100. Which companion grants 10% bonus stronghold influence? This might be one of the easiest questions in this entire uh, game, match, 
episode video thing. So go ahead and typo your answers without the typo part now. You said it grants bonus influence? Yes. And as always, let me know when you are ready. Ready. I like how you're still wearing that gold outfit. I'm too lazy to take it off. (laughs) (laughs) Is everybody ready? Ready. Yep. Oh, yes. Uh, Sorry. Okay. So you can send in three, two, one. Now. (laughs) All right. <clears throat> that was supposed to be wrong. I was tr- I was trying to f- remember <laughs> the word cleric. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the answers we get this time are: Why did I not know of this companion? I like that answer. That's my favorite answer. And stronghold cleric and siege master ring. <laughs> okay. So the correct answer was stronghold cleric. So Rob over here taking all the points. Whoa! That is a blue thing. That's all my right. victory dance. I didn't announce that you won yet, so technically you still didn't win. (laughs) (laughs) Alright, so the final final standings, as in like the actual final final and results. We have Driz at uh, zero points. Nice neutral ground still. Then we have Gal at negative 200, and Rob with positive 800. A thousand points above uh, second place. Very impressive. And uh, why are you naked? Why aren't you? <laughs> I mean, that's that's a good question. I, Why isn't I guess. everyone else? Okay, two of you are naked now, sort of. Driz is half pants. naked. At least Driz is wearing pants. Oh god, Short everyone's shorts. getting naked. Why am I here? You started this. I did. Why did? Why? <laughs> all right. So um, <clears throat> that is all of the questions. So now I think it's time that I give out. The prizes. Oh, my bank fell down again. I need that. Rob, come here. So, this week we get the Starfade Stag Mount, which in case you did not- uh, Oh, I can't inspect it when it's in my trade. Hold up. Is this mount? This is the mount that my cleric rides all the time. The ones that I used to have in almost every video before I started playing my paladin all the time. It's rainbow, it's shiny, and it's one of my favorite mounts in the game. There we go. Starfade Stag Mount. Icewind Dale Campaign Completion Token, and then... 120 companion upgrade tokens, which comes in two packs of 45, that makes 90, and another two packs of 15 makes 30, just in case you can't do math. There you go, I did it for you. And then a complimentary one silver, because that's just how this works. All this stuff, here you go. No, I don't want your two silver. You can have three, then. Here you go. No, are we going to do this all day? (laughs) Take it. Bye-bye items. Now you all know I didn't scam him. There you go. Okay, thanks. All right. Um, Congrats, Rob. Are you drowning? Are you okay? Congrats. Nah, I'm fine. <laughs> um, you're a little bit submerged. I just wanted to check on you. I guess you have gills now. And there we have Rob uh, riding his shiny new mount. Isn't that I'll beautiful? Be fine. It's pretty. He gets so, so sad when he can't fly. Like a little reindeer. Okay, oh. so thank you guys for taking time out of your day to participate in this contest for virtual internet items and embarrass yourself in front of an audience. It's always appreciated. Um, I did better than I expected. I agree with you that you did better than you expected. Not that you did better than I expected, because, I mean, okay, you did. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Thanks for the vote of confidence. <laughs> you're welcome. And you're welcome for not adding anything stupid into the mechanics like I said I was going to. Uh, so that concludes this episode and this entire series as a whole. So thank you guys for watching. I know this hasn't been particularly popular on my channel, but it was something fun and I hope you guys have enjoyed it. There's a possibility I might do something similar to this in the future, but it won't be in the near future. These take a lot of time and, you know, money to AD. Thank you guys for watching or listening or whatever, and if you want to subscribe, that would be cool. But if not, I mean, I guess it's- I understand. I'll just go cry. Okay. If you guys want to say bye, you can go ahead and do so. Thank you very much to everybody, and uh, thank you very much, Silver. And everybody, don't forget that double events weekend for influence, guild marks, and shards of power. On now. (laughs) Yeah, thanks everyone. Thank you, Silver, and good game, guys. Thanks for the good competition. See y'all in game. Bye. Bye. Bye.
Bye.